Hi, Terry Clark Linden here, and this is the sixth voiceover um, video that I'm I'm doing where I am reading from actually the audio portion I'm recording in my Whisper Room recording studio for my voice blog, terryvoice.blogspot.com. And I'm recording excerpts from my training, um, voiceover basics training workbook, Spring into Voiceover. And this is the third of from that book, a uh, little mini series um, on professional protocol. We we learned about um, uh, attitude that you should have and uh, my golden rules. Um, session etiquette and uh, professional apology. And today we are going to learn about uh, session etiquette and professional apology. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, my screen is over here. You'll see me fiddling. Here's some clicking and I'm going to begin. Thanks. Hi, this is Terry Clark Linden. This is the sixth in the series of voiceover basics and the third of three posts on professional protocol addressing session etiquette and professional apology. TCVO presents Spring into Voiceover, copyright Terry Clark Linden, 2014. Professional protocol. We talked about attitude, my golden rules, and today we're going to focus on session etiquette and professional apology. Session or audition etiquette. It's a party. You're invited. Arrive on time. Ask questions. Everyone is right. Read the situation. Professional apology. Pamela Lewis, author of Talking Funny for Money, introduced to me the idea of professional apology, and I want to pass it on to you. Confidence is key to coming across at the microphone successfully. No one likes to feel intimidated or insecure, and certainly, when we make mistakes, feel bad for it. We are human. We make mistakes. Or we make choices we think are brilliant, only to get the feedback that they weren't. And could we please do something else? Whatever the case, don't take it personally and crumble. Pamela suggests using the following sentence with the intention of professional apology. Professional apology practice script. I'm sorry. Let me try that again for you. Practice breaking this into two different thoughts, with the first thought being, Oh, I'm so sorry. I've had eight bookings already this morning, and I'm fried. The second thought is a completely sincere, while smiling, let me try that again for you. Now, with the first thought, you don't want to come across arrogant by any means. It's just one of those mornings where you've been so busy. Where's your head? And let's get it back on now. Don't crumble or come across as insecure and weak either. Smiling while you say anything at the microphone always makes what you're saying come across with a smile, too. And I'm smiling while I, while I just said that. Practicing professional apology will keep you out of a self-deprecating place and into a professional one. Thanks for listening. This is Terry Clark Linden. And also, uh, there will be a next one of these in the series. Uh, I think we're next time going to be focusing on the conversational read, speaking to commercials. Conversational uh, read, uh, modern versus traditional announcers. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.